Good evening, everyone. Thank you for your patience. I'm Lizzie McQuillan. I'm the very proud principal of Robert Bateman Public School. I'd like to take a moment to extend a warm welcome to all of our families, whether you're already a member of our community or a new member of our extended family. Robert Bateman is a place of learning, wonder, and kindness. While we'd much rather be together to chat and engage, this is another way for us to get to know one another. If you have questions, there's a link to a Google form located just below the YouTube video. This form allows you to submit a question. I've had many. <laughs> Please make sure that you enter your phone number and email as this will allow me to respond to your questions if I don't have time tonight to respond. I'd like to provide you a little information about our school. Robert Bateman is a kindergarten to grade six dual track school. This simply means that we have a French immersion program and a regular English program. Both of these programs extend from grade one to six. We're located in the heart of Hunt Club Park across from Elizabeth Manley Park. Our school hours for students are 8.30 to 3 p.m. The day is divided into three learning blocks and children have two scheduled nutrition and outdoor breaks. I'd like to begin our evening by acknowledging that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. We thank the Algonquin Nation for hosting us and we recognize their enduring presence on this land. This is a recent, albeit snowy, photo of the front of our school. We have two large playgrounds for the children to enjoy. The kindergarten playground has a play structure and an area for exploration that includes a large sand pit and a paved area that is also great for kicking balls, playing tag and movement. Our playground for students in grades one to six includes a large soccer field that hosts epic soccer matches, a large play structure, a basketball court, paved areas with four square games that are always a big hit with the students. We also have an outdoor inquiry area or classroom that is shaded by enormous trees and has natural landscaping. This is a popular area for classes and with our children at recess time as there are a few benches that provide a perfect spot for conversation with a friend or kicking back with your favorite book. We have two gyms. One large gym with a stage and a smaller gym where children have their physical education classes, enjoy clubs and sports and assemblies. It's a place of energy, excitement and collaboration as we cheer each other on. We pride ourselves in building strong open relationships with our parents and the community. These positive relationships help us grow as a school and as a community. At Robert Bateman, we work hard to ensure that learning happens in a wide variety of ways in a normal year outside of the pandemic. You'll often find groupings of students working together on an inquiry or solving a problem or challenge. Learning means creating relationships. We collaborate with one another, build relationships across the grades and ages to support learning and giving back to our community. Within our school, it's important that we stand up for one another, that we demonstrate our strong commitment to human rights and commitment. And we work hard together to dismantle all elements and barriers of racism. Do you identify as First Nations, Métis? You have access to additional supports for your child. Here in the OCDSB, we have an Indigenous education learning team that can provide guidance and support. The team consists of two instructional coaches, two student support coordinators, a graduation coach and a system vice principal. At registration, you can complete the voluntary confidential self-identification. I Visit the OCDSB website for details on resources and support or email the Vice Principal of Indigenous Education for more information. All schools in the OCDSB are grounded in a community of character and exit outcomes. 
This is the umbrella over everything we do. At the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, our vision of student success goes beyond the classroom. Our goal is to prepare students to be successful in life. The OCDSB exit outcomes identify five characteristics and five skills that we're trying to develop in every student. This work begins in kindergarten, and we hope that by the time students graduate, they'll move confidently into the world, equipped with a strong academic foundation and the learning skills they need to navigate future pathways, whether that is work, apprenticeship, college, or university or community living. I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to our director, Camille Williams-Taylor. Welcome to kindergarten and welcome to the OCDSB. We know that this will be the start of a wonderful educational journey for your child. Our kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators look forward to working with you and your child as we embark together on an exciting two years of learning. Our full day kindergarten program is the launch point to an array of programs that the OCDSB offers. During your child's school presentation, you will hear about the opportunities that your child will have to develop their French language skills. In the kindergarten program, our students receive exposure to both French and English language programming in a 50-50 format. They will have the opportunity to develop a strong foundation in both official languages as they begin their educational journey. You will also hear about the early French immersion program where starting in grade one, your child will spend the majority of their day being taught in the French language. Students can also enter French immersion in grade four in the middle French immersion program where two thirds of their day is taught in the French language. In the English and alternative programs, students receive instruction in English as well as 200 minutes per week of French instruction. This is called Core French. All of these programs are available to all of our students. It is your choice. We look forward to welcoming you to our schools and don't hesitate to reach out to your child's designated school to learn more. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. Our OCDSB team is eager to welcome you, your child and your family to our learning community. Okay, we're back on track. This year has been a little bit different than normal. And I know that this is the understatement of the century. Our school year normally opens with a welcome back breakfast in which we welcome all of our parents and guardians after they've dropped off the children into our learning commons. At our informal breakfast, we have an opportunity to engage with one another, welcome new members of our community and create relationships. Our school council has grown over the years, and traditionally they meet at 6.30 on the second Thursday of each month. Currently, our school council meets virtually every second month to continue our work together at supporting the learning at Robert Bateman. Our parents have been instrumental in creating events for all of our families, ranging from game nights to math nights to movie events. Parents have been involved in our Terry Fox runs and was providing the technical expertise in clubs and activities such as our coding club. We have a school update that is emailed to all of our parents on a weekly basis. Uh, this year, due to the different tempo at school, this update is going out to the families on a bi-weekly basis. Now we're going to move on to the kindergarten program. Welcome to kindergarten. That's not what I wanted. There we go. The kindergarten program is a two-year program. All kindergarten classes are combined grade classes, meaning year one and year two. So what we used to refer to as junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten, students are grouped together. All the classes engage with 50% of their instructional time in English and 50% of their instructional time in French. There's a really broad range of development with children at this age. By combining classes together, children develop at their own rate, flowing freely between the expectations of the two-year program. 
The program aims to provide every child with the support they need in order to develop self-regulation, health, well-being, and a sense of security, emotional and social competence, curiosity, and confidence in learning, and in respect for dis diversity of their peers. If your child will be four or five years old by December 31st, 2020, they can start kindergarten in September 2021. This is our wonderful kindergarten team this year, and they can't wait to meet you. Each kindergarten class is led by a team made up of a teacher and early childhood educators or ECEs. The team works together to plan for and provide meaningful learning opportunities for the children and to create a positive, welcoming and safe learning environment. On average, classes have 26 students, although depending on the enrollment, class sizes can range from anywhere from 13 to a maximum of 28. Children are full of natural curiosity and they explore this curiosity through play. In our kindergarten program, teachers and our early childhood educators structure play to create learning moments. Our kindergarten program provides children with educational activities and provocations or challenges appropriate for young learners, taking into account their physical, intellectual, social, and emotional needs. Their world is one of curiosity, exploration, and imagination. Children investigate and develop an understanding of their world through play. Educators observe the children's social, emotional, physical, and intellectual interactions, assessing their stages of development to then create learning opportunities that encourage further growth. So in kindergarten program, there are four frames or broad areas of learning, and they're used to structure our thinking about the learning and assessment. The four frames are belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, demonstrating literacy or mathematic behaviors, and lastly, problem solving and innovating. They're designed to align with the way children's learning naturally occurs, and that focuses on the elements of learning that are necessary for young children's development. The four frames align with the conditions needed for children to grow and flourish, belonging, well-being, expression, and engagement. These are conditions that children naturally seek for themselves and use regardless of age, ability, culture, language, geography, or setting. The four frames of kindergarten, which are the outer circle, grow out of the four foundations for learning and development set out in the early learning curriculum framework, which is the inner circle. The foundations are essential to children's learning in kindergarten and beyond. The frames encompass areas of learning for which four and five-year-olds are developmentally ready. So looking at the area of self-regulation and well-being, uh, the role of the learning environment is to assist children as they learn to be calm, focused, and alert, so they are better able to learn. What children learn in connection with this frame allows them to focus, to learn, to respect themselves and others, and to promote well-being in themselves and others. The area of belonging and contributing, uh, the learning is encompassed by this frame, relates to children's early development of the attributes and attitudes that inform citizenship so how to be a good citizen, through development of their attributes and their sense of personal connectedness to various communities. We work to create an environment that creates a sense of belonging for all children. Within their community, learners all contribute and support one another as a team. Demonstrating literacy and mathematic behaviors. What children learn in connection with this frame is to develop their capacity to think critically, to understand and respect different perspectives, and to process various kinds of information, whether it's with words, letters, numbers, or patterns. 
the children are engaging in the use of language and the concepts of numbers to evaluate information and to build a love of inquiry and learning. Looking at the area of problem solving and innovating, this frame references how children explore the world through natural curiosity in ways that engage the mind, the senses, and the body, making meaning of their world by asking questions, testing theories, and solving problems. The learning encompassed by this frame supports collaborative problem solving and creating and sharing innovative ideas. What children learn in connection with all the four frames, lays the foundation for developing traits and attitudes. They'll need to become active, contributing, responsible citizens and healthy, engaged individuals who take responsibility for their own and others' well-being. Our goal is to meet the unique needs of every child. Our learning support services team is always available to schools to support our early learners, LSTs, psychologists, social workers, speech and language pathologists, as well as educational assistants dedicated to our kindergarten classes. These are some of the specialists available for our schools. If you think your child may require additional learning support, please take a moment to reach out to me here at the school so we can gain a better insight into how your child learns best. The OCDSB offers a two-year full-day 50% 50% bilingual kindergarten program. The program provides all students with the opportunity to develop skills in both English and French. All of our kindergarten classes incorporate 50% French language instruction. This means that the children will be exposed and learn both in French and English. Our program is designed for children of all languages. The bilingual kindergarten program is focused on providing our youngest learners with a rich play and inquiry-based experience, facilitated by both English and French educators. Teachers and ECEs implement the program as laid out in the Ontario Curriculum document, the Kindergarten Program 2016. There are no overall or specific expectations that set fixed outcomes for French language acquisition for the end of the two-year program. Each child will grow and develop their receptive and expressive communication skills in both languages in a way that is unique to them. The OCDSB has an extended day program, also referred to as EDP. It's offered before and after the regular school day. It's delivered by our regular registered early childhood educators or our ECEs and early learning assistants. Usually you have two educators that are leading groups up to 30 children. It operates on most PA days and some days over the winter break, March break and summer break at certain schools. And that's always announced in advance. For registration information, please go to uh, the board website and select child care. Our EDP is designed to provide before and after school programming for the children registered here at Robert Bateman. The EDP is an optional program that is offered for a fee provided there is sufficient demand for the program and staffing availability. Now to be very forthcoming, we've always had EDP offered. EDP operates from 7 a.m. to 8.30 and from 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. Parents may register their child in the morning, afternoons, or both. The cost for the 2020-2021 school year will be in the range of $22.50 to $27 per day for both before and after school care, depending on the number of sessions a child is registered for in the week. The fee for optional days, such as PA days and March break, is $35 a day. A child care subsidy is available to families that meet the eligibility criteria. If you're interested, please contact the City of Ottawa to apply for the subsidy by phone at 311, which takes you to the City of Ottawa. Select language and option four for daycare, Monday to Friday between 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Or you can also go to the City of Ottawa website at um, ottawa.ca. 
I would recommend that if you know you're going to register for EDP, you do it earlier rather than waiting for August because they become very, very busy. This is um, a website that you can go to. It's on the Ottawa Public Health School Readiness webpage. It's an excellent resource and it provides you a, a wide range of information from child development right through to nutrition, dressing and toileting. And I, I advocate for everyone that it's, it's well worth the time. Okay, I'm gonna have to close that out. It's very sensitive. Didn't want to go there. There we go. Getting ready for kindergarten happens over weeks and months. It's not something that happens over a few days. You need to take the time, remember, read with your child every day. Choose a variety of books of different lengths and different subjects. Ask your child to make predictions about the book by using the pictures as a cue. This enhances language development, stimulates children's curiosity and imagination. Talk with them, listen to them about daily activities, what they're doing, what you're doing. Strong oral, oral communications will become a solid foundation for their later academic achievement. And we want to expand that vocabulary as far as we can. Encourage the other adults in your child's life to emphasize the positive aspects of school, new friends, a, a great teacher, and opportunities to learn and grow and have fun. You may have concerns about saying goodbye or not being with your child for part of the day. Try and keep those to yourself. Little ones pick up on those nuances. Recognize, as I said, it's just as difficult for you to face the separation as it is for your child to face the separation from you. These feelings are normal. Our team are caring and supportive. There may be a few tears early on. Once immersed in the classroom or outdoor inquiry, they're too busy to be sad. Discover the route your child will travel to and from school and uh, take several times to walk the route or drive the route. I uh, get the kids used to, if you're walking, being safe on the sidewalk and that your child is always walking to and from school accompanied by an adult. Children on the buses are met on arrival and departure from the school by a teacher or a school supervisor. Children must be met by an adult when they're dropped off following their day at school. You can visit the school and have your child explore the playground and the open spaces. This will increase their comfort. Develop opportunities for your child's exposure to music, rhythm, rhyming activities, which also help the development of reading skills. Get your child back into the habit or get accustomed to Consistent routines, such as getting up at a certain time, going to bed a little bit earlier, getting dressed, trying to do the Velcro up on their shoes. Help your child develop fine motor skills. Fine motor skills are those skills involving small muscles of the body and include such activities as drawing, cutting, gluing, as well as handling Play-Doh or clay, building towers of blocks, stringing large beads on a string, catching a beanbag or a large ball. Discuss personal safety, busing and strangers. Be sure children know their name, address and telephone number. Review the calendar with your child. Circle the day on which your child starts school. You may also wish to march gym, mark gym and library days, class trips, birthdays and special occasions. Here's a really important one. Please label all your children's belongings in a very conscious manner. Both indoor and outdoor clothing, shoes, boots, snack container, drink container, and backpack. Your child will misplace things. This is a guarantee. <laughs> if items are labeled, then we have a better chance to get them back to their rightful owner. Prepare your child for successful experiences. Provide opportunities at home with situations that challenge your child to manage alone when toileting, dressing, tidying, and eating. 
These self-regulation skills help children feel good about themselves and help them realize they can solve their own problems and be supported while doing so. The Ottawa School Transportation Authority, or OSTA, as we refer to it, provides school bus transportation. Transportation is provided for our kindergarten students who live an eighth of a kilometer from the school, 0.8 kilometers from the school. Near the end of August, you'll receive an invitation to a school bus safety day and information that's specific to your child's bus stop, along with the timings for pickup and drop off. For safety reasons, Osters require that a parent or guardian accompanies the child to the bus stop and is waiting at the bus stop at the end of the day. If you choose to, you can always drive or walk your child to and from school. Every kindergarten program in all of our schools in the OCDSB are 50-50 bilingual. After a child finishes year two, as a parent, you'll have a choice of which program their child attends from grade one onward. Now, this is a lot of information, and the choice between programs is made as your child leaves their second year of the kindergarten program. You can always contact us at the school to answer any questions and have a conversation about next steps. So the choices you have entering grade one include English with core French, early French immersion, and middle French immersion. Once again, this is a parental decision based around your goals and your child. All the programs are outstanding. So really, it's a win-win decision. At the elementary level, so that means kindergarten to grade eight, all subjects are taught in English, with the exception of core French, which is taught for 40 minutes each day, with a total of 200 minutes per week. This allows a student to focus on learning in English and still learn French and gain an appreciation for the French culture. The Early French Immersion or EFI program begins in grade one. The language of instruction is French for all but math, which is taught in English. Math is taught on a daily basis for an hour. Now in grade two to six, students have all subjects taught in French with the exception of English and math, which are taught in English. This would comprise two hours a day. Once students graduate from Robert Bateman, they would move on to grade seven and eight program where the programming switches to a 50-50 split of instruction in French and English. Students who successfully complete the EFI program and later enroll in a secondary level program which meets the requirements to obtain the OCDSB extended French or French immersion certificate are expected to be able to communicate with ease and feel comfortable in either language in the community, meaning English or French, and also accept employment, training, or further education in either language. The Middle French Immersion Program is a little bit different. It begins in grade four. The decision to move to Middle French Immersion would take place towards the end of grade three. At this point, children have a strong grounding in English and a good exposure to the French language as they've been engaging in learning French for 40 minutes each day in our core French program. At the end of grade three, you may decide to have your child continue on in the regular English program for grades four to eight, or you may decide that you'd like to focus more on French in the middle French immersion program. If you decide to move your child into the Middle French Immersion Program at grade four, it would provide you a more intensive focus of the learning in French with other students who are at the same level in French. For families who live within our school boundaries, your Middle French Immersion Program would be offered not at our school, but at Blossom Park. Again, these are decisions that you don't need to make now. There are decisions that you can make along the way based on your goals as a family and the needs of your child. 
a student who successfully completes the MFI program and later enrolls in a secondary level program, which meets the requirements to obtain the OCDSB Extended French or French Immersion Certificate, is expected again to be able to communicate with ease and feel comfortable in either language community, either English or French, and also accept employment training or further education in either language. This is the last program that's going to be described as an option for you. This is around the alternative program. These characteristics are found in many of the programs at the elementary level across the district, but they do form the foundation of the alternative education philosophy. I, and you can see cooperation and teamwork are emphasized, innovation approaches to teaching and learning through shared responsibility, multi-age groupings, integrated curriculum approach, a family and community-centered school environment, and assessment and evaluation is ongoing using multiple strategies. The alternative school that is located the closest to our catchment area is Riverview Alternative. I was previously a principal of an alternative elementary school in our district. So if you have any really specific questions, I'm more than happy to chat with you. The key takeaway from the descriptions of the different programs is you've got time. But for the short term, the idea is that we're hoping that you're going to make a decision to register soon um, so that staffing can be sorted, we can start to develop class lists, and we can get ready to welcome your child to our school. We also have the Family Reception Center. If you're new to Canada and you have a school-aged child and English is not your first language, the OCDSB Family Reception Center can assist you with enrolling your child in school. The center staff will provide student assessment and guidance for English language learners and their families. And you can connect newcomer families with a multicultural liaison officer if needed. And there's a phone number for you to call. So this is providing you with some information around our Facebook and our Twitter. We're hoping that you're going to keep the conversation going. Stay in touch with us. If you have questions or you want to chat, I'm always available at the school. I'm via phone call or an email. Um, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for putting up with the bumpy start. I'm, we're all learning and it just shows that we embrace new opportunities and multiple screens. Uh, I would much rather do this in person, but it was a wonderful opportunity to see everyone or, or um, present to everyone. Uh, welcome to the community if I haven't met you already. Take care, be safe and keep in touch. I'm just going to quickly look over right now and see if we have any questions on our Google form. And right now I am seeing that we have no responses or no questions at this point. If you have a question that comes up after you've thought about the presentation or you have some specific questions about your child or something you wanna share with me, feel free to contact me here at the school at 613-737-3169. Thank you for spending the evening with us. Uh, take care, be safe, and hopefully we'll see you soon as part of our Robert Bateman Bobcat community. Take care, everyone.